You know that 1 by 7 is, this is the bar over here, okay? It is not above that 0 0.142857 bar. Can you predict what the decimal expansion of 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7 are without actually doing the long division? So without doing the long division, you need to find out the solution. If so, how? So in this part, the main thing is, you know, that uh, 1 by 7 we know that all we already know that 1 by 7 is 0 0.142857 and so on and on and on and on and on on right correct so i can say okay, sir if it will be repeating itself let's see what happens if i multiply this part okay so 2 by 7 can be written as 2 times of 1 by 7 right there is no argument over that 2 by 7 can be written as 2 times of 1 by 7 which is 2 times of 0 0.142857 and so on. So if I multiply this part, okay, and if the division when I reach till this point 1 and if there is no remainder, I can say the whole pattern will continue itself. So if I multiply this 142857 with 2, so 2 7s are 14 power 1, 10 plus 1 11 power 1. 16 plus 1, 17 power 1, 5, 8, 2. There is no remainder. So every time you are de multiplying 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 with 2, you will get 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4. So every 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 will give you 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4. So I can say it will be equal to 0 0.285714, 285714 each unit. So it will be 0 0.285714 bar right similarly 3 by 7 will be 3 times of 1 by 7 which is 3 into 0 0.142857 and so on so let us see 142857 multiplied with 3 so 3 7 are 21 power 2 okay then 3 5 the 15 okay plus 2 is 17 power 1 18 plus 1, sorry, 3 is a 24 plus 1 is 5, power 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, okay, 12, power 1, 4. So it will be 0 0.428571 bar, right? Similarly, 4 by 7 will be 4 into 1 by 7, which is 4 into 0 0.142857. So let us multiply this. So 142857 multiplied with 4. 4 7 is 28 power 2. Uh, 20 plus 2 is 22. 32 plus 2 is 34. 8 plus 3 is 11. 16 plus 1 is 17. And 5. So again it is 571428. So it will be 5714428 and so on right with bar so 0 0.571428 and so on similarly uh, this is we have what 4 by 7 5 by 7 will be 5 into 1 by 7 which is 0 0.5 into 0 0.142857 so it will be equal to bar over here okay bar so 5 7s are 35 25 plus 3 is 28 40 plus 2 is 42 12 21 5 ones are 5 plus 2 is 7 so it will be 0 0.712285 continuously repeating itself okay 6 by 7 will be 6 into 1 by 7 which is 0 6 into 0 0.142857 bar so let's multiply there should not be any uh, power over or any other two digit number after multiplying with 1 that is the whole part so 4 sevens are 42 power 4, 30 plus 4 is 34, so 48 plus 3 
is 51. 12 plus 5 is 17. Power 1. 24 plus 1 is 25. And 6. 1 plus 2 is 8. So 0 0.857142. Okay. So these are all the numbers without actually calculating them. Okay. Without actually calculating them. Got it? This is the answer for the question number 2. Okay. Then the next question express the following number in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. So the first number is 0 0.6 bar. So let's take this number as X. So X is equal to 0 0.66666 and so on. Now my aim is to create one more number in terms of X with the same decimal number. So here what do you have 0 0.666666 so one more number I need to create where also the after decimal you will only get 6666 now this 6 is continuing itself infinite times okay so if I multiply this equation with 10 with 10 so 10 into x is 10x and here this decimal will shift one place towards the right so it will become 6.6666666 and so on right so this is my equation 1 this is my equation 2 if I do equation 2 minus equation 1 so I will get 10x is equal to 6.6666 and so on and x is equal to 0 0.6666 and so on now if I do the division you can see 6 minus 6 6 minus 6 this decimal part will be 0 so here 6 minus 0 is 6 and 10x minus x is 9x. So x is equal to 6 by 9 which is equal to 2 by 3. So the decimal form sorry the fractional form p by q form for 0 0.666666 is what 2 by 3. What is that? 2 by 3. Okay. This is how it will be solved. Next part 0 0.47 bar. So it means 0 0.47 bar means it is 0 0.47, 47, 47 and so on. So let us take x is equal to 0 0.47, 47, 47 and so on. If I multiply these equations with 10, so 10x will be equal to only one digit. This decimal will shift over here. So it will be 4 point seven four seven four seven four and so on. So earlier it was 474747. Now it is 747474. So the decimal digits are not exactly same. So I will multiply with one more 10. So 100x if I will multiply. So this decimal digits from the in, in this x part will shift two places or here one place. So it will become 47 point 47, 47, 47 and so on. So now it is exactly the same in which in equation 1 and equation 3. Right. So I will subtract both the equation 3 minus 1. So here I have 100x is equal to 47.4747 and so on. And x is equal to 0 0.4747 so on. So let us subtract them. If I subtract minus minus 100x minus x is 99x. And here this decimal part will be cancelled. So 47 over here. So x is equal to 47 upon 90. Got it? This cannot be divided further, cannot be cancelled further. So this is only is your answer. 47 upon 99. Got it? Next question. 0.001 bar. So that means x is equal to 0 0.001001001 and so on. Correct? Now I want to repeat. I want to repeat the decimal place. Suppose if I shift the decimal place here, will it repeat? No. The, the pattern is occurring after three digits. So I need to put the decimal over here. So how many digits the decimal has to jump? Three digits. So three zeros number is what? Thousand. So multiply this equation with thousand X. This is a shortcut. Okay. The pattern is for three digits. Let's make it jump to three digits. So you have got, they go, this zero zero one will come outside. Point zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one and so on. Now they go zero zero one before the zeros before decimal whatever zeros I'm writing before the number doesn't make any sense so it is 1.0010001001 1. 
So this is my equation one. This is my equation two. Subtract equation two minus equation one. So thousand x is equal to one point zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one, and x is equal to zero point zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one, and so on. Let's subtract them. So minus minus the decimal digits will get cancelled. One minus zero is one. Thousand minus x is nine ninety nine x. X is equal to one upon triple nine. Got it? As simple as that. Okay. So these are the decimal expansions for all the threes three number. Okay. Okay. So this question actually it is wrong here. It is shown zero point four seven bar, and the answer here is given for zero point four. The bar is only on seven. So let's do this one also. Okay. Actually it is given. It is written here wrong. So let us do it in the different way. Hey na? Let's do. the second part the question let's change the question because the question is changed over here so i will also change this question i have told you the normal one okay let's do the exact question which is in our ncert because i have written it wrong over here okay so what we are going to do actually the question is written wrong over here so i will write it correctly now okay so the question is not 0.47 whole bar the bar is only on 7 So the question is x is equal to 0.4 only on seven the bar is there that is 0.47777 so on got it so that was the difference earlier I was thinking it was 4747 but actually the question in your NCERT is this so I have x is equal to 0.47777 and so on correct. always remember whenever you are doing these kind of questions after the decimal you only want the repeating part as you can see 4 is not repeating itself so you don't don't want 4 after this number so what i am going to do first multiply it with 10 so 10x will be equal to 4.77777 and so on right so this is my first equation second equation will be 100x one more multiply with 10 So forty seven point seven 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 and so on, right? We will subtract these two equation equation two minus equation one. So equation two is hundred x is equal to forty seven point seven 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 seven, and the equation two equation one is ten x is equal to four point seven 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 seven. So you can clearly understand why I told that after the, the after the decimal the digit should be exactly same because this part only then will get cancelled. So 100 minus 10 is 90x, and here 47 minus 4 is 43. So x is equal to 43 upon 90. Got it? So bonus for you. We have solved two different questions over here. Got it, Bita? So this is how it will be solved. This is the question. Please do not forget to go to the link vdnt.in/ytpro. अगर तुम सब लोगों को जुड़ना है हमारे साथ में विद्यार्थियों के साथ में और मिलके प्रिपेयर करना है for the फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है तो उसमें जाने के लिए बेटा क्या करना है उस लिंक पे जाओ अपना ग्रेड सेलेक्ट करो टारगेट सेलेक्ट करो यहाँ पे वन मंथ थ्री मंथ और सिक्स मंथ का ऑप्शन है ओके कूपन कोड में डालो जी पी प्रो जी पी प्रो डालते ही यू विल गेट फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज ऑफ फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज ऑफ मिल जाएगा देख लो यहाँ पे हर जगह पे फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज ऑफ मिल रहा है गॉट इट बस ये करो यू विल बी ज्वाइनिंग इट ओके सो दिस इज द लिंक दिस इज द Cool. Got it. Thank you so much for coming to the video. Such more videos will always be coming out. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, bye bye. And don't forget to like the videos. Okay, chalo. Bye bye.